Hello world, we are SciencePod, providing you with the necessary knowledge and wisdom to succeed in science. Warning, this podcast may contain vulgar language and is not suitable for children, but for people who are wishing to get an A. We are not professional, but we will try our best to teach our audience about the wonders of science. This is dedicated to students by students. So sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the podcast. Hi, uh, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm currently in the UK, and I'm studying A-levels. And for my studies, I do media, classical civilization, and film studies. Yo, what's going on, people? My name is Serantis. I'm in Greece, and uh, I'm currently in high school studying philosophy and uh, philology. Hoping to get uh, into a good law university, so I can one day become a lawyer. Hello, I am Ines. I'm from the UK and I study biology, chemistry, math and ECQ at A level. Hello guys, <laughs> my name is Arjun Dunashaker from the Grand Cayman in the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. And um, I study A level mathematics, computer science, physics and further mathematics. And I'm hoping to go to university in either the UK or Canada. Um, so guys, how are we all doing? Are we, are we okay? Are we good? How are we coping with everything that's going on in the world at the moment? I mean, it feels like every day is on repeat. Every day, so... I don't know. Honestly, it's kind of difficult to cope with it. Well, to because, be... Uh, yeah. you like, maybe... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arjun, yeah, what about you? Great. Um, well, for me, here in Cayman... Uh, everything is actually back to normal. Um, so we, <coughs> we don't, <laughs> we don't wear masks, um, and we don't social distance. Um, we can go back to school as normal. Um, not flexing or anything, but, uh, yeah. And then, I don't know if you heard, but. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but people, this is actually a, a, our island is a tourist island, so. Um, it's a tourist destination, so it's been hit by the pandemic anyway, so lots of people are without job, um, trying to get by, so yeah. Should I, quick question, like, what's the population around about, if you know? Um, the whole island has a population of about 60,000, so... Wow. Yeah, that's why we're able to, we just lock down borders, so anybody who's coming in has a mandatory two-week quarantine. And if you don't mm. follow the quarantine, you can you can actually face jail time. Oh, okay. So how are we all coping with online schooling? Well, Arjun, you don't have to wait. How wait? Are you back in school now? You yeah. Said. So I'm back at school, uh, regular school. But um, I did do online oh, school guy. for a few months. Yeah. <laughs> how was that? <laughs> well, like I guess at first it was absolutely amazing. Um, you know. Like first few weeks, great. Um, I don't know how, I barely have to do any work. Um, and like, uh, you know, you do, you attend a few classes online and then you're good to go. And then, uh, two weeks afterwards, the happiness, you know, drifted away. So, um, mm -hmm. we, you know, the, the reality began to sink in. Uh, we, like, we were barely learning anything online because the the efficiency of data transmission was disgusting you know mm. you know what i'm saying um so me and s and sorrentos um we've Gee, all been we know each other for two weeks and you don't already know my name <laughs> i can't pronounce people's names okay i'm very bad at this so we've all actually still been in a lockdown recently um, again, for me and Ines in the UK. I don't know how long yours has lasted, Sorrentos. How long has yours lasted? What do you mean, how long? Like, has it been, like, a continuous lockdown? Is it, like, you had a lockdown in March, everything went back to normal, and then you had another lockdown? It's... We opened up for, like, summer, mm. but then it was, like, back to square one. Mm. And the worst thing is that we started school with no measures. They just gave us masks, and we're like... Okay, do whatever. Just don't just go near each other. They didn't even uh, put in action the measures like before summer when we came back. Yeah, it's like so and the masks were about the size um, 
of uh, a parachute. Uh quite huh? big. Yeah, the masks not, were not big. Not kidding. You, you could cut out like holes oh. for eyes, and it would be a full face. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> that well, sounds pretty out sick, some though. Holes and be a hoodie. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like, how have, how have? <laughs> well, no we... shit. We would be very sick if we didn't protect ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, like, your school didn't put like any hand sanitizers in places. There are like uh, one uh, liter of hand sanitizer in every class. It's almost full. So that means like no one ever uses it. Uh, there's that, and there's the fact that every one of us has like his own hand sanitizer because uh, oh, the yeah. one in class smells disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah. You no, know I'm that like... smell of uh, pure vodka? Or pure I like alcohol? those ones. I like those ones. Yeah, imagine that, but rotten. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I've got one in my school reception. It's horrible, and it's like dead sticky, and I'm like, why are you sticky? You meant to just dry off quickly. Bro, aren't you a hand sanitizer? You're not like uhu glue. Uhu glue. Uhu? <laughs> it's like. Uhu glue. Uhu glue. Yeah. Uhu glue. The glue stick. Uhu glue. <laughs> Have you never heard of uhu glue? I don't know how you say it. I don't know how your Brits say it, so. <laughs> what glue? UHW. The what? Glue. Huh? Like the yellow glue. It's a glue Yellow stick glue? or a Pritt stick. Oh, yeah, okay, a yeah. Stick. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you Brits have the, this glue in your country, and I don't think that we should be discussing about glues in this episode. So <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for us when we um, reopened, and how... it was like um, mm. so like we started off with some social distancing measures, like um, like six feet apart. But then, um, like the, and we also had to wear masks. Um, so everybody was, was like, at first everybody was like, oh, this is cool. We get to wear like masks to school. But like, cause like, like you, nobody would like, they wouldn't wear the surgical mask or anything. They would, um, they would bring like bandanas and stuff. Um, to look oh, a I bit. I hate when people cool. do that. It's like, wear a proper mask. <laughs> it yeah. irritates me so much. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and then, um, but then the day after they said, you don't have to wear masks. So like half people, half of the people kind of dropped their masks, I'm not going to wear masks anymore, but then some people kept them on, um, and they kind of dropped social distancing measures cause we were 100% virus free. So, um, so, lucky. so we, but we did have like the hand washing stations, um, now nowadays it's kind of reg- it's like the norm. You will go into school, wash your hands, go to class. Um, before it wasn't. Uh, so yeah. I think that's good that like people care more about their personal hygiene and like washing hands and hand sanitizers and stuff like that. And like I hope that whenever the UK gets over this, that people will still continue to wear masks in like really crowded situations, like. On um, the underground, I think that's like the most disgustingest place is like place in the whole wide world, in my opinion. Like, ugh. in there, it just makes me want to throw up. And I think I like I start university in September, so like I'm going I'm going down London to the university. So I'm like pretty sure I'm definitely going to start wearing a mask in the underground because it's so disgusting and I hate it there. Girl, you haven't seen Greek buses. <laughs> oh, I hate dirty places. It's disgusting. Just there's a video online of a guy. Smashing a seat with a a bat, and uh, <laughs> by the end of it, there's like a brown cloud <laughs> in the atmosphere. <laughs> so dirty, oh honestly. And uh, I'd like to mention something about, in all seriousness, I'd like mm. to mention something about uh, COVID and its effects on society mm. here. Go ahead. Uh, because we're kind of like considered warm people. We can be kind of like more, uh, let's say, vulnerable to violence. Like we might get mad easy, easy, more easily than other people. Mm-hmm. And uh, there have been several incidents with uh, people like, for example, uh, yesterday, two young men uh, beat the fuck out of a, 
uh, of an officer because he, he told him to put the masks on. Oh, wow. Oh, are you talking about the anti-maskers? Uh, they wanted, so I don't know if they were anti-maskers because some sources say that they had their masks down their chin. Oh, okay. And that they were drinking soda. Oh. So I don't really know what to think about it. But do you think that mm. it was an atrocious? It was a, a horrible act, of course. But mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to think about it as a whole yet. I think it's mostly uh, yeah, just like yeah. I think it's mostly just because. And, uh, another thing, mm -hmm. I was uh, at the baker. I, I was at the bakery shop, and uh, I was at the bakery. Sorry, there's no shop in front of the bakery. Yeah, sorry. I was at the bakery recently, and uh, you know how there's uh, a maximum limit limit of uh, people inside now that the COVID is around and stuff. Yeah. So uh, we were inside with some of my friends in order to purchase uh, some goods in order to eat. We were just done cycling and stuff because uh, here in Greece you can send a message and just go for some physical activity with someone. Of course, yeah. And uh, we were just doing done with cycling, and uh, we went uh, to the bakery in order to just buy something to eat. We were starving, mm -hmm. and uh, another and the customer was uh, like arguing with another one uh, because of the fact that the second one wasn't wearing the mask properly. It was like it was covering his mouth, but it wasn't up the nose. And uh, the employees didn't do anything. We were just standing there watching it. Okay. So at the after the the no masker left, there was a debate between employees and customers about whether they should intervene and whether the law uh, ob ob obliges them to to like intervene. Personally, and I think you should just say put your mask on, just for the safety of everyone else. If it's a shop. He says he's that. He said he doesn't care. That's what. That's what the the other customer said. <laughs> that I'm he said like, he doesn't care, my... and that I disagree that you have the right to tell me what to do, even if it's in a public space. So yeah, and uh, when it, all this was done for, <clears throat> a lady approached one of the female uh, employees. Not not that dinner has uh, any context. I, I'm just mentioning that she was a girl. Yeah. Uh, and she told her that, you know, that, uh, that customer is right. Like the one who told the other one to wear his mask and, and that, uh, employee should actually intervene in that, in such situations and stuff. And she was mm. like, I don't care. Like plainly. She plainly said, said that as an employee of a bakery to someone eating there during an pandemic. And that to me is like beyond uh, the limits of uh, in ignorance, pity. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. But it's like uh, <laughs> it's like defiance or um, almost like uh... defiance. My ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Wear your mask. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, the, it's almost like they're protesting. You know, it's like. Just not to wear the mask, but I think you know if you, a lot of the time if you are in the if you're in the U.S., um, they could just write out call the police um, if you're not wearing your mask properly. Um, you probably be shot dead. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not messing around. Depends. <laughs> well, actually, I'm. I'm not. You know, I was about to say a joke that was very bad. Um, yeah, oh, I had well. to say it. <laughs> no, it I depends. had a worse one in mind. I was like, it depends on the color of your skin. So, um, whether they shoot you or not. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like, um, yeah. So, uh, there are some, look, guys, I think that Arjun and me and everyone here is trying to say that there are some bad people out there, okay? Mm -hmm. There are those People that are not going to wear your, their masks. They're those people that are going to judge you by your, the skin of your, the, by the color of your skin. And uh, unfortunately, those people exist, and uh, some of us have to cope with them every day. Of course. And people have died because of such stupidity. Mm -hmm. So uh, we must always stand up to those people that endanger us and society in general. Yeah. And uh, have a. Uh, 
innocence pay the price of their stupidity. Of course. And we should all be together and share common goals. Mm -hmm. As a race, mainly. I think so too. Mm. And it's like, it's like, not, I am blaming it on them, the people who don't wear masks, that this is like for places like the UK and Greece, that it's this whole quarantine or lockdown situation is just, it's been extended. Like, it could have just, it could have easily have been handled if people just wore their masks, follow the rules, wash their hands, don't really go outside if they don't need to. But now, every, like, the younger generations are really suffering from this with the online schooling. And the quality of online school learning is varying depending on where you live, who your teachers are, what your school or college is doing about it. And I think that's one of the things, like, a lot of people, especially younger ones, are, like, scared. Like, how am I going to get an education if the quality is not good? Like, at times I do, I, I do want to be back in school, even if, like, right, as selfish as it is with being in lockdown. But I know at the end of the day, it's the best being online and... Just trying my best from my mind as a student than to me than over two thousand people going into one school without proper measures. It's not fair on the on the on the um on the health sector to have to deal with the backlash of everyone thinking that they're above this disease when it's like a virus, not a disease. Everyone's above this virus when it's like you we're not. Anyone can get it at any time. It's better just to stay safe, wear a mask, stay inside if you are directed to stay inside. And then over time, it will go, hopefully by the end of this year, because I want to join my uni life. <laughs> yeah. I can see what you mean there, yeah. Uh, I see it uh, in a different way. Hmm. You're free to believe whatever you want. You can think that the, that the pandemic is fake. You can think that uh, coronavirus doesn't exist. You can think anything you want. But even if there is like 1% chance of it being real for you and uh, by not actually following measures you are setting someone else's life, in life or even yours in danger, you are simply being ignorant. Ignorant as fuck. <laughs> and you must wake the fuck up because you can't just like base someone's chances in life. For example... How many of us here have grandpas, grand grandparents? All How of many us. of us? You don't know that why you seem in that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you like the fact that some people out there actually endanger your grandparents because they don't want to wear a mask? Why? Well, I think it's just disgusting. Either way, just wear a mask. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. If you don't do it for you, then at least do it for any for everyone else. Mm. Mm -hmm. Stay I... woke. <laughs> exactly. So, Are you gonna say something, Arjun? Nah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this, how about you? Um, I think it's the same as Liz, really. Um, we're doing online school now. It's not that great, but we just have to deal with it, <laughs> I guess. We do it for our um, grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And everyone else in need, guys. Uh, there are so many people like mentally challenged people, physically challenged people, that uh, they also belong to the to the like vulnerable to the virus group of people. Of course. So we should always be respectful to them. Always wear our masks in public, and always, always uh, follow the measures because uh, mo the people actually forming these rules are scientists. And trust me, you want to listen to them. Mm -hmm. Let the. I feel like this mm -hmm. whole. Oh, sorry. No I worries. feel like this whole podcast has been about COVID. <laughs> oh. I mean, it it is kind yeah. of mm -hmm. relevant, I'd say. Yep. It's definitely. Oh, there's so much. Oh. Pardon. Um, I'm just saying that it's you know um, your turn on giving us a point. For the episode. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Um, so I think. Um, so yeah, like maybe just about dealing with workload. Um, so I'll just talk about that. I think, um, like throughout the whole of quarantine, while I was while we were in lockdown, um, there was 
um, there was times where, you know, I'd be stressed out um, with even tougher workload than regular school, right? So I think the main way to combat this is just to keep yourself organized. Because if you're not, if, if there is one part um, that is not organized for you, then you're going to see that you've, you're wasting time. And you'll notice that, like, um, time goes by quick while in quarantine. You, in March, we locked down, you blinked, and it was December already. Um, so what I, what I think is that if you're at least making a schedule of how you're going to use your time, not, even if it's just, um, even if it's not only work, right? Maybe it might be, um, doing some exercise or, um, when you're eating or when you're working on a new project or, or anything like that. Um, you should try to keep yourself organized and schedule it so you know what you're doing. Um, because there's a lot of things that you might want to work on, right? Um, say you want to work on your chess skills or you want to, um, you want to play games or you want to, um, do work. Um, at least you know what you're doing at what point in time so that you get everything done. So yeah, key thing is to keep organized, I'd say. Um, yeah. Especially. Thank you, Arjun. Yeah, no. uh, those were some really useful tips. Mm -hmm. uh, I completely agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Uh I think though that uh, something even more important than dealing with workload is actually dealing with our own well-being and feeling and feelings in this tough period of time. Oh yeah. So uh, personally, I love to do some exercises in order to keep my body and uh, my spirit healthy and uh, active. For example, <laughs> meditation has been really miraculous for me. Like. It's like you enter a whole new dimension when you do it. It's like sleeping but being awake. That's mm -hmm. the best way I can describe it. <laughs> um, good sleep is also really vital mm -hmm. in this kind of situations. In these kinds of situations, excuse my grammar. Uh, because, you know, if you don't get a good night's sleep, then you won't be able to m function properly. Pro Property, yeah, property, yeah, property, bro, property. What the fuck am I saying? Properly, excuse me. <laughs> properly, so, yeah. Uh, and if you don't can't function properly, then that just throws uh, out of the window the whole point of uh, doing leisure activities and managing your, your workload because you will be tired as fuck. Mm -hmm. if you uh, mm -hmm. Chilling. Is also one of my favorite activities. Just sitting down, relaxing, checking your your DMs from Insta. Talk to them, ladies. Of course. I bet Saren Toss has a bunch of the oh, yeah. Gyaldem in the no, DMs. Yeah, his DMs are dry. I can just imagine his <laughs> DMs look dry. I I feel they just look dead. You know what is look dry? Mm, let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sarantos, uh, what is your best pickup line then? Okay, yeah, listen to this. So, hey girl, I want you to help me out with a math question. <laughs> with a math equation. Okay. C plus U equals 15. Mm -hmm. Personally, I believe that C equals 5 because you are definitely a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. I've got one. Okay, just say child listeners, this is not 18, but this is not child friendly, so only listen if you're 18 or something. Um, oh, where was it? Elizabeth. What? Elizabeth. Yeah. We're all younger than you. Oh, no, I'm the only old one here. Uh, I know, Grandma. Yeah, I grandma then. Liz. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I just said 18. FBI, okay, you, Lizzie. FBI is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Lizzie. Sorry, Lizzie. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Um, just for, like the general like health and well-being one I know we're not allowed to go outside but honestly just seeing the outside world either through like a window or like from your garden it really helps like as someone who is literally just on their phone during the time 
in their house under the sheets. Like I kind of get lost in my own online world and I kind of forget that the outside world actually does exist. And, you know, it's still, although, although we may feel like it's not moving, it's still, days are still going, hours are still passing by, you know. Just like opening your door, like, not your door, your window, or just going outside at like sunset as well is like one of the best things. Like just watching the sun as it like sets, as cliche as it is, it's so beautiful. Watching the sky turn different colors, it's like, wow, this is really beautiful. And it kind of like, I don't know, I just, I feel zen when I look at it. I feel, I'm at peace. I, I happy. can relate. Definitely. I can imagine uh, Liz being in front of the window for hours and just looking at the sky, and I her mom is like that. coming in. Liz, you okay? Oh no, my room is always shut. No one ever comes in. I, I'm like, get out. I don't want. I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> what you hiding, Lizzie? What you hiding? Huh? What you I hiding in there? I just like talking to my family. I just don't want to talk to them. So I'd rather, I'd rather just close the door and be left alone. <laughs> Yeah, for yeah. us to towards the end of uh, I've quarantine. Heard of like uh, being a uh, an introvert, but that's beyond me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm at the point. I really care. <laughs> I've made peace with being alone. Arjun, you were saying something. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. For us towards the end because, of lockdown. Uh, well, that, Shut that's up, good because you probably remain so. <laughs> Arjun, go ahead. Okay. Um, Arjun, sorry, bro. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. No worries. For us towards the end of lockdown. Uh, we used to go on we used to go on bike rides in the evenings um we we kept social distance um wore masks and everything so you know we pose less of a threat but you know um so whenever you're going out always go out with ex- with caution you know knowing that you'll have the risk of contracting the virus but yeah we we went out um especially because our our, our numbers were low um, we only had a few cases, but, um, yeah, we went, we went out in the evenings and, um, you know, those were just days I'll never forget, you know, not having to worry about anything and looking up at the sky every day in the evening, seeing a different sky every evening, you know? So, yeah. It's like the best thing ever. Like, it's so cliche, mm-hmm. but honestly, it's so beautiful just watching the sky and it's like, and like watch cloud watching as well is another thing that I love. Just like making up weird shapes from like not weird shapes, making up shapes from like the clouds and like it's so sad saying this, but it's actually so good. Like I probably recommend people to do it. Um, <laughs> um I just want like one last thing. Um, sleep patterns. We all know that majority of us have like an effed up sleep pattern, but it's so important for your body, like your body is so used to going to bed at night and then working itself, repairing shit like that. So if you're up for like long periods of time, it can really affect your like your body and how and how it feels and like stuff like that. So just maybe one night a week, maybe two nights a week or something. Just go to bed at like eleven or ten. Just let your body just to to like cleanse itself. And not stay up until like four in the morning or something. As much as like as hard as it is to do that or like to not do that, just just do it. Just put on some relaxing rain sounds or something, and just put fall asleep. On our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too chaotic for that time. <laughs> but seriously, like, just sleeping at regular times is it's amazing. Just one day for your bodies. Trust me. As someone who is staying up. At like 4 a.m. almost every single night, Saturday and Sundays are my days where I just go to bed at 10. I feel amazing when I wake up. <laughs> I, first of all, I completely agree with you, Lizzie. I really think that sleep patterns are really important. And concerning what Ennis said, guys, we are untrained professionals. We clearly stay up this late because we have jobs to do. No, I'm awful late watching the Queen's Gambit, um, ignoring all my schoolwork. Which is shush, shush, we, we don't need to know that. <laughs> we have to pretend like we're role models or something. Yeah, <laughs> ignore what I just said. I definitely go to bed every single night at 10. I do my work. Um, just one last thing from me. Um, it's okay if you don't do your work. I know as bad as it sounds, but the pressure and dealing with everything else when if you are in a country that is deeply affected by... Rona and all the stuff that she's been doing. It's okay. 
Do you not know the like? Been doing? <laughs> do you not know the? Uh, okay, okay. I don't know. If it's his name was Rona. <laughs> it's, 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 I said it's American and like I don't. I appreciate sure it's American. Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I know. I'm no Lizzie. Okay. I know. Why do you mean? Oh, stop it! <laughs> God, this Rona's really. Oh, God, I hate you so much. Uh, my God. Uh, so I guess that my boy Arjun can't sleep that early because he got he has to get rid of all the girls in his DMs daily. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, my boy? Of course, my guy. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway. That's so, what I was saying. Yeah, it's that's okay. Why me, uh, that's why me and Arjun are always kind of late in these uh, the recordings, because we always have to, like, talk to girls and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Arrange stuff, you know. So, you know what I mean. so, so, so busy. Arrange pandemic, and you're all right. <laughs> we're, we're not doing Yo, that. Well, we're not doing that. She's wearing a mask. <laughs> so... Stay, don't, don't mix with the households. Arjun's totally fine, but you, so, no. Stay at home. <laughs> Rules of the pandemic. Wear a mask, be careful outside, use hand sanitizer, and never approach Sorrentis. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> or anyone in general. Social distancing is, uh, like, kind of important. So, in S, what's your last point fed to this podcast that we've probably run over time? <laughs> Yeah, we've definitely run over time. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I think just talking to people and socialising with friends that you maybe can't see, it's really important, I think. Um, I think talking helps getting, helps you get things off your chest and it's proven to release stress. So I would really recommend it. Um, How in S when we talk to people <laughs> who can't go outside? <laughs> Like on social media, you could call your friends up. Um, I don't call my friends in this day and age. Late that's night that's Zoom. So I call you. Late night Zooms, yeah. <laughs> and <Please> then, <laughs> so, guys, we are going to see you possibly in some in two weeks, one week, maybe a month. I don't know. They might kick me out of this shit because uh, I don't know. No, <laughs> they might. Nah, we need you, Ooh, a yeah, siren yeah, let's go, let's go. I think we can survive without him. <laughs> um, just like, Thank you. like we've had, Thank you. wear a mask, wash your hands. You know, it's okay to be dealing. Everyone deals differently with online schooling. Um, find a support network, either through Twitter, Instagram, like anything out there. Even Tumblr can be peaceful at times. Um, talk to people. Who the fuck uses Tumblr? <laughs> I use Tumblr, okay? Leave me alone. I'm an 18 year old who uses them. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> but, like, yeah, talk to people, wash your hands, wear masks, social distance as best as you can. Um, and it's dealing and processing with online school is different for everyone. Not one person is the same in this situation. So, yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful afternoon, night, evening, whatever time we listen to this. <laughs> if you're watching this in the morning, then you're messed up, bro. No! We have to maximize the only time for Anyways, make sure you to follow us on our Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and Google Podcasts at The Science Pod. For more episodes, we will hopefully be out with another episode in February. Well, another two episodes in February. See you guys. Oh my god. Thank you for oh, tuning good. in. See you in the next episode. Oh. Shall I mention?